Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Spending $40 million, the government just doesn't have Speaker B.J. Cruz making that point in response to Governor Eddie Calvo's veto of the budget bill late Monday. Cruz stating while the governor might be doing his best petulant child in the toy store routine, I don't believe my colleagues will risk a government shutdown just because Adeloupe is fonder of temper tantrums than hard truths. Vice Speaker Teresa Lai says it came as a surprise. I thought uh, we, we had a pretty solid budget. I mean, of course, the money is tight, but... Uh Everybody, um, we're working our hardest and we are hoping that uh, the Department of Revenue Tax is going to come through with uh, increased revenues and if we see that, we've all pledged to come back in and, and do more with the increased revenues. But until then, uh, uh, I think the Speaker will be calling us back to session and uh, I'm hoping for an override. Calvo vetoed the $959 million fiscal year 2018 budget passed by the legislature and issuing this special address. I could not sign a budget that would affect our island in such a way that our people's safety, their health, or education would be at such a risk. Calvo also pointing out how the budget would add negative impacts to the island's tourism industry, which already took a hit after the recent North Korean threat. The last thing we need is for this trend to continue. Declining economic activity will signal job losses. The spiral may be difficult to bounce back from. Now with that said, now is the time to arm the Guam Visitors Bureau with the resources they need. Public safety concerns also brought up. DEPCOR Director Tony Lamarena says the cuts could lead them back down a path towards federal receivership. With what was passed, there's a shortfall uh, of $2.6 million strictly to fund the clinic services. Well, this could possibly uh, put us back into receivership. The administration arguing against cutting corners to fund the government. Leaders have until the end of this month to pass a budget in order to prevent a government shutdown. Lawmakers are now working to finalize a date to get back on the session floor. What happens there, we'll have to wait and see. Reporting for Guam's News Network, Guahusinic Delgado. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.